1971 Guild D50. Uh, it's in very good condition. Um, no breaks, no cracks. Um, uh, yeah, just some surface stuff. Um, <clears throat> uh, rosewood back and sides, uh, spruce top. Um, this is what made Westerly Ryland. Uh, Guild moved to Westerly in 1966. This is 1971. Um, they're still making the pretty light in 71. Um, they started making a little heavier, I think in 73, um, with some heavier bracing and whatnot. Um, so this is the sort of lighter design. Um, really projects, it's got great projection. It'd be a terrific flat picker. Kind of goes up against a Martin D28 in terms of um, you know what it does. Um, one cool thing is it's actually a slightly slimmer body. So it's super comfortable to play. Um, and it gives it just a little bit tighter of a response and punch. Um, it has a k, &K Mini installed. Um, original tuners. Um, the neck is nice and full. It's a nice full uh, symmetrical C uh, shape. Um, very comfortable. Um, and it just has the trademark uh, Guild uh, whoosh, kind of push. from uh, years of use. Um, this, is this thing's definitely been played and used. Um, lots of scuffs, stings, um, scrapes, scratches. Um, but yeah, no damage. The frets are in um, actually in really quite excellent condition. There's barely anywhere, even in the cowboy cards uh, areas. Um, uh, it's a compensated saddle. Um, there's actually probably some height. Um, uh, there's probably room to come down, but the action is perfect right now. It's just sitting right at 3.30 seconds at the low E and the 2.30 seconds at the high E. And uh, yeah, just a really cool guitar. Um, really grown to love Guild over the past year. There's a certain chiminess that a Guild has. Um, and oomph. Um, in the upper registers, that the other figures just. Like, 